The day is March 27th. My spring break has just began and I, for some reason, decided to stream for every single day that I had off. And in that time, I was going to try to tackle the impossible task of building an entire full level from start to finish all on stream. And miraculously, I managed to actually do it. Here's how. Day one. My plan for the level was conceived about 30 seconds before I hit the go live button, and all I had prepared in advance was the song I was going to use, Slime Boy Color. An honestly underrated older Megan Echo song. I also had a name, Slime Step, for some reason. Originally, I was going to use the segment from 2.47 till 4.26, but I really didn't want to take a shot at nearly two minutes of level, so I started a bit later in the song, cutting down the length of the level to around a minute and a half. By the way, before I actually do anything in the level, I should make it known that I am not a fast creator. I may be faster than some people when making full levels, but like, when it comes to speed building, I am physically incapable of going fast with a time limit in mind. But besides that, I began work on the layout. I was aiming for around a 5 star, since that meant I could focus less on the gameplay and more on going fast. After spending about an hour on some basic cube gameplay, I started to craft my loops. It wouldn't be an audiovisual level without loops. It was around this time too that THE NASGUB came into my chat and gave me parameters for my 4 frame toggle loop that would have made it sync with the song, so uh, thanks NASGUB for that. Set the spawn loop delay to 0.11 and one of them to 0.12, the loop should sync to music. Actually, what? Is this real? Okay, that's actually kind of cracked though, I like that. Then I spent a disgusting amount of time on a basic space background, and with that I was on to designs. I was kind of going for an early over defo y kind of design with this, and I think it ended up looking okay, but the most important thing is that I didn't use 1.6 blocks. Incredible! After just a bit longer, the first part was done, minus some missing polishing of course. And that concludes day one, with a very hopeful and optimistic feeling me. Now here's the thing before we get into day two. I figured a reasonable pace to give myself would be roughly 20% of the level made per day. I thought I had reached that threshold on day one, but when I corrected the speed portals, I had made the unfortunate discovery that I in fact only built 12. 12 whole percents. Great. Day two. Now with that in mind, you'd think that maybe I'd get a head start on building on day two, you know, try and get more done to make up for the stuff I didn't do on day one. No. For whatever reason, I decided it would be a good idea to do a late night stream for day two, since they're kind of a vibe sometimes, you know. Chilling with chat, just like low-key vibes all throughout, right? Right? Dead wrong. I started off making some ball gameplay, which was shockingly inconsistent, so it took me a bit longer than it should have to actually make. By the way, for this entire level, I only made the layout for the part I was about to decorate, since for some reason, levels take me way longer to make when I build the whole layout first. Anyways, I was stuck with a layout, some palm trees, and literally zero background ideas. So I did what any reasonable person would do, and made a vaporwave part on accident. Yep. I just started out making mountains and I figured a vaporwave background might work, and an hour and a half later I had a complete background. At this point I was already absurdly tired, but I had to keep pushing and try to come up with some sort of block design. I went through a disgustingly large amount of ideas, like pulsing objects on the blocks and moving 3D lines, but eventually I landed on something I kinda liked. My only issue was that it really wasn't that creative, and even still I think this part is in general some of the least creative and most generic stuff I've ever made. But I guess that just goes to show that mindset is everything, and by the time I was ending stream I was dead tired and had absolutely zero confidence that I was gonna finish this challenge. Day 3 It's the morning of day 3, and I'm feeling a lot better about everything. I start up stream, ready to slay up the ballpark, and you know what? I do! I freaking demolish this ballpark, man! I was making better custom 3D, cool particles, even some pixel spikes. I was going crazy! And after a little over an hour, I was finished with the ball part, and I started working on a UFO part. I had an idea on day two to make a pseudo 3D effect where the structures would have lines connected to the top corners of them that rotated in time with a camera to make it look like it had perspective. I decided to save the idea for this UFO part, and I'm glad I did. It gave me the opportunity to really go wild with my structuring in this part, and honestly, I think the structures that I ended up making looked sick! So much more unique than the previous part. I also knew I wanted to make the vaporwave background move down to show the starry sky above and maybe a moon in the background, and you know what? I did exactly that. After all of this, you'd think I'd be satisfied, right? After all, once the UFO was mostly filled in, the level was 50% done, which is pretty good pace. Unfortunately, that is where you would be wrong. I tried to start working on the upcoming wave part, but the ideas I had sucked, and a lot of effort I was putting in ended up being wasted on things that looked god awful instantly ruined my good mood I had for the whole stream. Good going me. After this utterly dreadful end to stream, I had a bit of a revelation. 
I was treating building this level like a normal level where I have to worry about it being good and having good ideas and executing them well, all that lame stuff. What I should have been doing is treating it like a speed build, which is what it is, where I just throw down stuff with no care to whether or not it looks good. This speed building mindset is what I took into day four. Day four. Picture this, me waking up two whole hours before I plan on streaming with absolutely nothing but that planned for the rest of the day. Thanks to divine intervention, I have a great mindset going into the stream. The stars were aligning. I had never been more ready. The result of all this was a building stream that lasted for 10 hours straight. I started things off by deleting everything I had in the wave part and making a bit of gameplay. I adopted my original philosophy of making completely nothing gameplay so that it would be easier to decorate and I think it worked since actually filling in the structures took no time at all. Then I decided to add ground deco that just said slime for some reason, sliming the steps right now. After that, I added in a quick repeating grid pattern background, as well as the slime angle. And the part was already shaping up. Then I started on the primary design, which was this cool wavy line thing, as well as some supporting deco. All was going exceptionally well, especially compared to yesterday. Soon afterwards, I added in the Grover Cleveland boss fight, where Grover ascends to his final form. <laughs> Absolutely insane. This, this is flipping cracked out. What is that? I'm so stupid! Oh, I love it. Then all of a sudden, the wave part was done? So as per Brain Eater's suggestion, I built the spider part next, which had mostly the same assets as the wave, but a new block design format, which miraculously finished in a single hour. What? I must be a real speed builder now. Then I put my stream on a 30 minute long BRB screen as I ate dinner, and when I came back, Alicia made the cutest slime stepping animation for the end screen. What a win. Oh shoot, what the heck? It be bouncing! That's so cute! Thank you, Alicia, that's amazing. Literally the best thing I've ever seen. Then six hours into stream, I decided to take it all the way and start on the final part. My original plan for it was like a simple finale with custom ground, four three borders, and some art ground spike design with a rotating hexagon like pulsing background. I was so confident in this idea that I started on it right away with a four three overlay, full with scan lines and all. And then I decided to scrap all of that. While playtesting the four three overlay, it kinda looked like my icon was rising into space, so I decided to say screw it to literally all of the ideas I had for the part and make a part where, with a clever optical illusion where everything in the part just moves down at a certain speed, it would look like your icon was climbing an infinite staircase into space to the beat, which I thought was a phenomenal idea. So of course, I made a space background, some rough gameplay, some SICK halftone shooting stars, and it was time to work on the design. To somewhat mimic the first part, I wanted to get more neo designy with it, so I used some invisible blocks on the surface of the stairs, a black base, and pulsing dots switching between two color loops that span each staircase which by the way was the most tedious thing I've ever done. This took me like 45 minutes alone and already it was looking so solid. Then I made some indicators, added a bit of air deco reminiscent of the first part and some freaking twinkling falling stars in the foreground that I love. And the part was basically done aside from an end screen. By the nine and a half hour mark, I was basically completely done, but chat convinced me to go until I hit 10 hours, which was totally worth it. Overall, it goes without saying that day four was the most successful day by a landslide. In a 10 hour long stream, not only did I not ever feel tired up until the very end, but I managed to start and finish decorating the entire last 50%. That is absolutely unreal. I gave myself as little to do on day five as possible, and all of a sudden I was feeling much more confident than ever that I could pull through with the challenge. Day five. The day had finally arrived, day five. All I had left to do was polish, bug fix, and verify the level, and it would be released for all to suffer with. I started by going through from the beginning of the level, adding in things I wanted to have to make it a bit more exciting. Notably, I added some rainbow gradient pulses to the first part, cleaned up the second part, added a cooler transition into the UFO, and added actual collision in that part. Added another transition to the wave, added particles to the spider and wave, which did wonders you guys don't even understand, and added in an end screen with a slick raisin font and the titular slime stepper. And with that, I verified the level, and it was finally complete. I forgot an LDM, so I quickly went back and added one, and then... Finally, the level was complete, verified, and uploaded. Here's past me to tell you how I felt in the moment. Ah, <sighs> not bad. I managed to actually build the entire level in five days. I can barely believe it. It's been a crazy five days though. I mean, I've, I streamed for so long a couple of the days. There were moments 
a lot of moments, especially around day two, three-ish, that I was, I was not so sure I was gonna be able to build the whole level, you know? A whole level, a minute and a half long level in five days is kinda insane, and I'm not the fastest builder out there. But I managed to pull through. After all these freaking streams, I managed to pull through and I finally made the whole level in five days. And you know what? It feels good, and I think I actually came out pretty good. I am still so thankful for the unreal support I got while streaming. Without you guys, I would have gone insane much sooner, but so many chill people stuck around for every stream that made all of it possible. So finally, a resounding thank you and a round of applause to everyone who stopped by even for just a second to see the level get built. That's where this video would have ended had the next 24 hours not been the most insane of my entire life. After streaming, I went to dinner with my friends, right? When I get home, I get a text on my phone saying that Nexus GD uploaded Slime Step. I already assumed that this level was gonna flop since it was honestly pretty generic and you know, Slime Step. But here I was getting another Nexus upload out of nowhere. I have genuinely never expected something less in my life. Flash forward to the next day, April Fool's Day itself. I begin writing the script and halfway through the writing process, I check the rates and I see that Slime Step the Grover Cleveland boss fight giant dash orb slime vapor ray five day level got epic. And then I happened to see that the same level, gameplay made in the sum of an hour level, got daily. And then I just so happened to check the comment section of this level where I just so happened to see the developer of the game, Rob Top, has commented on my level. I still cannot even begin to wrap my head around the fact that all of this happened, let alone all of it happening within 24 hours. I am genuinely speechless. Honestly, I do not think Slime Step deserved Epic at all, but somehow here we are. I suppose all I can really say is thank you. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this recap video. And if you like not having fun, I encourage you to try this challenge out for yourself. With that being said, Stop scrolling right now to barbecue your bones inside your body. Repeat these numbers. 897-170-65.